Yo, what up? What's going on? Uh, God of High School episode 4 just came out, so you know I'm about to watch that shit. Um, last episode was pretty fire. We had Mira fight um, the wrestling girl, which is unfortunately one of my favorite characters, but you know, Mira being one of the one of the three main characters, I knew she was I knew the wrestling girl wasn't gonna wasn't gonna win that one. Hopefully we see more fights of her in the future because I mean that shit the stunner, the suplex, the power bomb, the turnbuckle fucking things. I mean it's just like she used all the cool ass wrestling moves that I remember from my childhood and shit, so hopefully we see more of her. Hopefully that ain't it. Also, um Han, uh our punchy boy and I think he's also a tank, I don't know, uh, fought the guy with the book and the bat. And the book and the bat guy is actually pretty cool too. Uh, he reminds me of a, of a more, I guess, a, I guess a more tactical metal bat from One Punch Man. If you guys, I mean, I'm sure most of you have watched One Punch Man, metal bat is more of a, he literally just swings his bat, gets stronger the more damage he takes. Whereas this guy, this guy with the book and the bat in this anime is, more strategic apparently his book is filled with all the fighting styles and all the counters for, for, for those fighting styles and shit um and he's pretty damn good with that bat too he was giving Han a, a pretty rough time but Han did some I did he did I think it looked like some Chariok shit uh, like I said before I think Chariok is the uh Dragon Ball Z equivalent to like energy so that's 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 their powers in this show that's where their power comes from Chariok he did some he did the like once the turtle stance, the tiger stance, whatever, whatever, and he was able to beat the guy with the book and the bat. So Mira and Han move on, which actually means they're probably gonna fight each other. Damn. Well, now that we know Mira has like invisible swords, and Han is like a fucking kung fu master, ah, that's gonna be a lit ass fight. They, they might even not fight. I mean, that that would be kind of weird to have two, you know, characters that they're, you know we're, we're trying to they're trying to make us like, and then them fighting each other. I don't know. I can't really pick a winner on that one. We're just going to have to wait and see. We're just going to have to wait and see. Because honestly, I don't think we've even seen the full potential of either of them. I feel like Mira has more in the bag. And Han didn't finish his fourth stance, which could have, which could have like exploded the whole stadium. So, so I don't know. I don't know. That's going to be a good-ass fight, though. Um, and then, fucking, apparently, Park Mujin uh, has some forbidden fruit or some shit. And he gave some to Jin, our main character, Jin Mori. And Jin was already strong before that, so I'm feeling like he just made Jin into a completely new like level up. Like he, he just gave him some kind of powers that Jin hasn't unlocked yet, um, or he made him cursed. I don't know. I feel like it made Jin stronger though. Like at the end of the day, he made Jin stronger, but he also made he maybe might have cursed Jin with some kind of you know now now there's like evil residing in Jin. Um, and he was able to the, the the goal was to was to knock down the commissioner he fucking he teleported to the he, he he moved so fast that the commissioner didn't expect it and he just pushed him and knocked him down with one hand you feel me so um i mean i don't know how strong jin is but we can assume he's stronger than before when he fought kang the guy with the purple jer pur purple uh uh jacket um the other Taekwondo user, we can assume he's stronger than then, and he was already strong. So I can't wait to see Jen's full powers. And I mean, that commissioner with the green hair, his power came out, and it was some fucking Grim Scythe demon thing. So there are definitely we've seen Park Mujin's power, the fucking Buddhist palm slap. Now we've seen this guy's power, where he can he can summon a familiar. What what is that? You know, so there are definitely some really cool powers to look forward to in the show, I think. I mean, it's so far it's been pretty, uh, even though it is a martial arts show, they're combining it with superpowers. So we're going to see some really unique stuff, I feel like. And this is just this is just my type of show. This is like all my favorite things in, in one show, you feel me? Uh, also, one thing I didn't notice last episode um, was that the, the, the demon that got out of the green haired guy's body the familiar the, his eyes or its eyes were similar to Jin's eyes so i don't know what that means i don't know if, if that means Jin is like a half demon or whatever but there's definitely some kind of correlation they wouldn't just put that in there for nothing so um oh i mean that that could mean Jin is a familiar maybe he's like not even human i don't know 
just making theories at this point. So yeah, that was a similarity that I that I that I didn't catch last episode that I met, that I realized afterwards. And uh, yeah, man, I'm ready to get into it. This is uh, Gotta High School, episode four. Let's rock. What is this? Uh, this of course, this is the commercial t for people to tune in to, to Gata High School. That makes sense. <laughs> you were in top four already? God. Brazilian Jiu- Oh, dude! Dude, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is in top four with these three? This shit's lit, bro. Nah, nah, nah. That's gonna be so cool. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is like a grappling style. Damn, Mira versus Han? I can't pick a winner, man. Only because I haven't seen what they can really do. Is this guy rolling up with the cool ass music? Huh? Who is that? Wait, this is really happening? Wait, she said yes? <laughs> what? What's going on? <laughs> no problem! So far, I don't like him. Just because he's saying all the things she wants to hear. Like, on purpose. I don't like this guy. His mannerisms too are really like, I don't know, like a douchebag. Uh, does that mean we don't get to see Mira and Han fight? That's kind of a bummer. Damn. I know this is an anime thing, but I always find it kind of weird how, you know, we have our group of main characters, right? And they all seem to be instantly, like, best friends, you know? They've, they've only known each other for, like, a week. And Jin's down to, do, to like, <laughs> to break up her marriage? Like, I don't know. I know it's an anime thing. I'm just, I'm just throwing it out there. He's right. Jin, you only known this girl for a week. You have no right to butt into her fucking personal life, really. But then again, he's just looking out for her, so. God damn! That's Mira? The. The fucking redness. Her, her little sister has it too, no? He has it too. 
So she's just marrying this guy so the Moonlight Sword lives on. Right. That's why. Alright, well, I mean, shit. I can't blame her. That's her... That's her ultimate goal, so, I mean, do whatever it takes, I guess. I feel it. Probably she could just drop on the moment that it's popular. She look good, man. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. I think what makes her look so good is her, um, I don't know what you call it, but her hair on the side, like, hanging out. Oh, wait, this guy... Yeah, see, he's a bad guy. I mean, that was pretty obvious, you know? He's part of that fucking cult. Hey. <laughs> Wait, he's not allowed to hit them. Oh, okay, he just pushed. I guess a push is fine, it's not like martial arts. Oh, dude, these... <laughs> Talk about wedding crashers, these two, man. <laughs> I feel like he's nice, though. The guy with purple, I feel like he's nice. He is part of the cult, so maybe he knows some shit too. <laughs> Bro. Oh shit, what is that? He has the same shit? Oh fuck. Wow, he actually has the same shit that the other guy had. Oh my fuck. That was slick the way she did that. She did get cut though. I don't think that uh, that demon thing he summoned was the same thing that the green-haired guy had. Just because it didn't have uh, Jin Mori's eyes. I think it was just like another power. Character development. Sweet. The good old love triangle. Who is it going to be? <laughs> Oh shit, no! His friend! Oh no! Oh no, dude. That was why he was in the tournament in the first place. Oh, he's gonna fucking beat their ass. He's gonna destroy these dudes now. <clears throat> oh, don't kill them, though. Okay, he just beat him up. Yeah, okay. I mean, yeah. They had it coming. Unfortunately, I think he's disqualified now from the tournament. Wait. He's attacking her wound. Oh my. Seriously? Are we seeing a Vegeta form? Is this a Vegeta uh, circumstance? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Huh. Alright. Well. 
Okay, so... Wow. So a lot of happened that episode. At first, so... This, this is my first thought. When I first uh, saw that it was going to be a wedding, I was like, damn, it's going to be a filler. Because, I mean, the three episodes were pretty fire. So I, I kind of had the in, the in the in the back of my mind, I was I was having the feeling like, damn, they're gonna be, there's going to be a filler soon, isn't there? Or rather, a non-action-impactful like action impactful episode. This wasn't an, an episode filled with a lot of action, but there was a lot of backstory and it was probably the first episode that there was like, you know, the feels. They tried to add some feels into it. Um, damn. So let's just, let's just go um, on what happened in the episode. So fucking... <sighs> Alright, so the guy, ra the guy randomly, well he didn't randomly, he had her picked out, he, but it seemed random. He proposed to her on the street. Um, and he told her why. It, this all happened like at once. It wasn't like a flashback. It all happened. Uh, and he's part of the cult, the evil cult. So he's a bad guy. Like no, we don't know what the name of that cult is, or I don't remember the name. Maybe they said it already, but we don't know what the name of that cult is. But that cult seems like, so far right now, it seems like like the end, like the the final boss is in there somewhere because they, they they all seem like bad people. Um, okay. Mira looked really good in the wedding in her wedding dress without her glasses and her hair and her earrings she looked really nice very pretty very beautiful okay i gotta throw that out there um also her her fucking whatever she did it was super slick her her sword style move i don't know what she did during the fight um but it looked super cool also that guy also summoned a, a familiar or a demon like the guy with the green hair, the commissioner, but it seemed different. It didn't seem it didn't seem as powerful, and it didn't have Jin Mori's eyes. So I think it was like he also summoned something, but it wasn't as powerful as the green haired guy, or you know what we've seen earlier. So, uh, but it is part of the same, I guess, family of powers. Um, and then immediately after, they showed Han's friend dying, and then Han. I mean, he almost killed Mira. She was, he, he deliberately aimed at her wound, you know, because he's, he was there when it happened. So, st honestly, we still don't, I, we don't know the connection between Han and his friend that died. Like, they might even be related. We don't even, I don't even know. Is that his brother? Is that his super close friend? Is that his fucking uncle? Nephew? We don't even, we don't even know their, their connection, but we do know that their connection was strong. As soon as Han saw him die, it's like he turned Sasuke or he turned Vegeta. You know what I mean? It's it, it, he's just evil now. He just he just he seems in a bad place. And when you're in a bad place, you can do some fucked up shit. And Han almost killed Mira, right there. You know, I don't think Mira died because they have uh, apparently they have super cool technology. They have really high technology. Uh, they fixed Jin's broken neck, so I'm sure they could fix, uh, they could heal Mira. So I'm sure she's not dead, but still, for Han to do that right after saving her from marriage, I don't know. The finals is gonna be lit though. And Jin is gonna be mad at Han for almost killing Mira, so he's gonna try to kill him. Well, not 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 almost try to kill him, but he's gonna give it to him. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna make him, you know, regret that he ever tried to kill Mira. And Han is already pissed that his friend died. I mean, the whole the whole reason why Han's in the tournament is be to save his friend. So maybe uh, I remember um, in the in the former episodes, uh, the prize of winning the tournament is you can have a wish granted, right? That's how they said. So maybe Han is gonna be like, okay, can you bring back my friend? If not, I'm gonna kill all y'all. That's that that's the type of vibe I'm getting from Han right now. Like if he did, if he cannot bring his friend back, he is gonna murk everyone, and that's not good, man. Cause I actually like Han's character. I don't want him to turn evil. There's already enough evil people. I feel like this this, this cult. I feel like Park Mujin's evil. The, the guy with the purple hair, the, that's a douchebag, is obviously evil. You know, there's there's, there's plenty of evil in this episode. I feel, or in in this anime, we just haven't seen them yet, in the, in their entirety. Um, damn. So again, not an action packed episode but we still I, f I feel like the most happened in this episode over any other episode you know the other episodes were literally just fighting 
which I have no complaints over. I love the fighting. Um, but I didn't I didn't mind this episode either. I didn't mind it at all. There was there was some feels, got some backstory. We don't know Jin's backstory. It's funny they haven't showed anything of Jin's backstory. We just know that his that his fucking grandfather was possibly a legend. That's it. That's all. We, Jin, Jin Taijin. That's his grandfather, right? All we know is that he could have been a badass. That's all we know. And uh, Jin being the descendant of him could mean something. I don't know, but yeah. So we're gonna see Han versus Jin in the finals. Hopefully. We did get to see Han versus Mira in the finals, but I mean, it wasn't really a fight. Mira was injured, so she couldn't fight at her full potential. You know what I'm saying? And Han, I mean, Mira, the the, the, the type of Han, the, the 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 type of time Han was on, he was on some murder vibes, because his friend just died. I just, it just doesn't make sense why he took it out on Mira. Maybe just because he he just feels dead inside. You know, he just has now his all his feelings are gone. He just wants to just take it out on anything. And that's the, and that's and, and, and unfortunately Mira was was the was in front of him when that happened. So that sucks. Um, Mira looked good in a wedding dress. I'm just gonna say it again. She looked she looked real good. You know what I'm saying? Thumbs up on that. Um, yeah, man. I mean, what can happen? I, I I really hope next episode is just the whole episode, the fight between Jin and Han. You know. Maybe some stuff leading up to that to hype it up, but I, I, I mean, that's what I'm looking forward to the most right now, is Jin taking out his anger on Han for Han fucking almost killing Mira, and Han taking out his anger on Jin because Han, Han's friend died. They, both of their motives are like up here, like they're, they're both fired up in a bad way, you know? And those are, no cap, those are some of the best fights. You know, even in anime, TV shows, and real life. You know, when there's like bad blood, those are some of the best fights. Cause you just want to beat the other person's ass no matter what. So I'm hoping this, I'm hoping episode five is, is just the whole time them fighting. I'm hoping we see some new moves. Maybe we're gonna see Jin's new power if he even has one. I mean, the fruit had to, had to have done something to him, you know, and maybe the next episode we'll see it. Uh, we still haven't seen Han's full potential either. We But we now know that Han is definitively stronger than Mira though. I know Mira was injured, but I mean, Han, he just beat her ass. Also, I'm glad that those bullies that um, that, uh, that that bullied Han all this time finally got what was coming to them. And I'm actually surprised Han wasn't disqualified from the tournament. Um, I thought that was, that was going to happen. That's why they didn't want to fuck up the guards at the wedding. But I guess it didn't matter. Han's still in the tournament. Yeah, okay. Good episode, man. Another good episode. Uh, so far, uh, this anime is 4 for 4. Four good episodes in a row. I'm feeling it. I like it. And I'm ready to see the finals. And to see what actually really happened. Because if 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 you guys are anime fans like I am, we all know that the tournament never pans out the way we expect it to. You know? Like, I wouldn't be surprised if all the commissioners came down and started to try to fight Jin and Han. And then Jin and Han had to team up and try to fight them back on some shit. So, hey, anything can happen. I did like the episode, though. So... So yeah, man. Um, I guess we gotta wait. God, I hate. I hate. So normally when I watch anime, I wait for the end of the season so I just binge watch them all and like keep all the information in. Um, this is like one of the first times I'm actually watching an anime week after week, and it's killing me, dog. Like, I hate waiting a week for every episode. But then again, the anticipation does rise, and I like the episodes more this way. So. It's all good. Anyway, good episode. Um, I can't wait for next week, and I'm out of here. Peace out, y'all.